Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today is a Saturday and I'm expecting a lot of family help today. I'm so excited. I'm making soil blocks because my grandmother, my grandfather, my mother, and my sister are coming here today. Well, my mom I think is gonna stain. She has more cinder blocks to stain and also my construction crew put the bracing on the tables so there are some more wood that needs to be stained there. But I'm making the soil blocks here because my grandmother, my grandmother actually said I wanna start seeds so she's coming up too. I'm very excited. So I'm getting everything prepped. When they get here, all I have to do is label the tray, give them the seeds and they can start it. And um, giving my grandparents the lupini seeds to start. <sighs> Lupinis are a very delicious bean that we love to eat, but it's also the lupine flower, and I have a whole bunch of different varieties, uh, beautiful colors, and the seeds are larger. So I'm gonna give those seeds to my grandparents to start. My sister loves to use the toothpick, so she's gonna be starting some lubelia and some petunias. Not sure what else we have here. Probably some more hollyhocks. And then, oh, some Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller for me is a little bit slow starting, especially, you know, when I'm growing it for my field in the flower farm at home, I'm okay with putting a little two inch plant in the ground. But when you're buying it at a nursery for six packs and stuff, you want a little bit more of a substantial plant. So I'm starting Dusty Miller from seed today for six packs. That door we moved in here so that it doesn't break. <laughs> we have to return that door. That door does not fit where we want it to fit and it's a steel door, so cutting it down like you would a wood door to fit is just not happening. So hopefully nobody falls through that door today. <laughs> Everyone's, this is like my seed starting station. I've got a bunch of chairs and we'll be hanging out today. I thought I'd bring you guys along. More germination on the seeds we started last week. I just checked them out. We've got, oh, my sister's gonna be starting pansies too, guys. Oh, let me, let me go over these. There is, I've got more from Baker Creek. Look at this purple Laetta, which is like a purple and white gorgeousness. Oh, super Beaconsfield. Mmm, that is also, it's like the opposite of, of this one. They're kind of opposite colors with the white on the outside and then the white on the inside and the other one. Gorgeous, both of them. And then this one is black with a purple center. It's the Bowles Black Viola. Uh, yeah, so my sister's starting these today. My free seed packet was the spoon tomato this time. Anyway, I had a little bit of a panic, and let me tell you why. You guys have seen me, um, you've seen me start some pansies, right? I probably started between five and 600, more closer to 600, but of course germination is not gonna be 100%. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I have a 600 pansies, it's 106 packs. Oh, okay. Well, a lot of people are like, I buy pansies in flats. So that's like, Whoa. that's not very many flats of pansies. So then I was like, okay, how many pansies do I actually need? And then this blue folder right here is full of the 2017 invoices from the previous owners, Nancy and Tara. <sighs> well, they bought plugs for pansies and violas and I counted and they ordered to be delivered the week of March 27th. 2200 pansy and viola plugs <laughs> so i panicked and i said ah. okay if they were ordering 2200 and this was after they had been doing this for years at that point um then i need to start more seeds so i ordered more seeds and my sister started some last weekend and she's going to be starting these we also have a couple more packets of like the Helen Mount. Um, yeah, so we're basically starting seeds today. We're also, I'm gonna be potting up perennials. My dad's gonna stop by in the afternoon because I have um, an outlet that keeps tripping um, and it's an important one. It's my heat mats. <laughs> I gotta keep that on, obviously, otherwise I'll have nothing germinating. So he's stopping by this afternoon to check on that. Busy, busy day. I'm excited because this is the first time that I'm gonna have people come and see what we did with widening the door and the ramp going out into greenhouse one and just the new layout of the way you enter into the greenhouses. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing everyone else see that. All right, I'm gonna make more soil blocks. I'm using a whole bunch of different things today. These are recycled takeout. This is recycled deli containers, recycled butcher plates. I also have, oh, my mother-in-law got these. These are awesome sizes. These are big. You can put six sets of soil blocks on these ones. And just like that, my in-laws are here. All right. 
I did not call them. I did not know they were coming. Good morrow. Row, row. Row, row. There's a hole in the wall. I see that. And just like that, Walter went to work. I had these dragonfly coat hooks that I wanted to put up on the wall. Uh, Brad was working on taking some more floorboards in the barn down so that we could use those to put the rest of the walls up. And then Axel was helping sweep up and clean around. And then my mom and my Uncle Greg's girlfriend, Christy, showed up. And they went to work staining some more cinder blocks. Waiting for her expression. She's going to go crazy. Grandma's cutest car ever. These are all screwed down to the boards, right? Yep. Wow. Your stones really look nice, Nicole. Don't I they look I like good? Them better than I would see. Yeah. It kind of looks planty. Yeah. <laughs> the water can drip. Oh, well, the water can go through them if there's yeah. water, and it's not going to collect in puddles. Planty. Yeah, We're gonna set this planty. up in my backyard. It's planty. Planty. You're treating me like a beginner. Oh, you ain't no beginner. I know, but. <laughs> okay, out. so I was gonna have you do the lupinis. The lupinis. All right. They're pretty big. Oh, those are good. That's what I should bring up here, shouldn't I, Axel? I have apple soup. How are you paying for it? Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Okie doke. Is this life tool to use or are you, you can use whatever you want? It's easier for you to pick it up with your fingers than with your fingers. Holly hawk, holly hawk. Ah, holly hawk. I like Holly. She's okay. <laughs> I'll take Holly any day. Um, I got some ginger ale. You guys want one? You know what? Yeah. I, I And could... regular water too. Yeah, I got um I'll, call, I, I'll have one. Paint the end of the wood. Is there some paint down there. Aunt Jan made this for grandpa. We're gonna go surprise him with it. We found this. They're so beautiful. We found this. Oh my god, where'd that come from? What is this? Turn it around. <laughs> you make me cry. Aunt Jan made it for you. Oh, oh wow. So tell her I said I love it. Aww. Where is Aunt Jan? I don't know. Uh, I, I thought it was her when I saw it. The man with the legend. Who is I that for? Me? Who is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me. Me. Okay, me. All right, that's a wrap on the footage that I was able to shoot while my family was here on Saturday, but let's go check out the seeds that everyone started and see how they're doing. It's been a few days. And then some seeds that grandpa started the previous time that he was here, he did that tray of hollyhock a couple of weeks ago. Those are looking good and all the pansies too. Let's go check them out. My um, germination area, I was a little bit afraid of um, how that was gonna be because it is a little bit colder here in the atrium. And turn the lights on. I was having an issue. My father actually ended up coming and fixing this. There was too much with the heat mats. They were drawing too much on this little strip and it was tripping it. But so he said, all right, he got me this little yellow thing and the heat mats have to be plugged in separately from the lights because it was just too much power being drawn off of one thing. So here are the seedling germination trays. Starts right here and it does, it goes all the way down the other end, um, but the heat mats are all connected. So if you have one on, the whole entire row is on. Same thing with the lights. Here are the pansies and the petunias. These are the little baby petunias popping up and those are some more pansies popping up. These were covered in um, my plastic wrap like these, but because I had a 50% germination, I took the tops off of these. These ones are pansies, pansies, more pansies and more pansies. Like I said, guys, after I read 2200, I went kind of crazy. These are some uh, petunias, coral reef petunias. Um, we've got some ornamental peppers back here. Those are starting to pop. I can probably take that off soon. Some things are not popping yet. Oh, these are some of the lupines that grandma and grandpa did. There's some lupines, there's some lupines. This is the hollyhock tray that grandpa did the other day. I'm still getting some germination. Give that a couple more days and uh, then I'll get that out into the greenhouse. There's more lupines. Let's see. Oh, I did start some artichokes too. I just started, oh, it's, I see life. I see right there a little bit of an artichoke coming up. 
that's exciting. I thought I would start these a little earlier too. More lupines. Who's in here? Oh, we have germination on that. I don't know who it is. The Dusty Miller trays that Jessica did are starting to, I see some green in there. So that's exciting. All right, moving on down here. Let's see who we have. All right, I started some Gerber daisies from seed, guys. Those are the Gerber daisies that I started. I've never grown these from seed before. I'm really excited about those. I'll sell those in four or five and a half inch uh, trays or pots, I mean. A little bit of germination on the lobelia, the petunias. Um, yeah, that's about it down here, guys. Everything else is starting to pop. This is petunias as well. I could probably take this off. Who are you? More pansies, more pansies. Anyway, lots of good stuff cooking in here. I'm really happy with the germination on most things. Uh, the pansies look great. I have a couple more trays of pansies at my house that I started too that I have to bring here. One other thing that we got done on Saturday, um, my father-in-law cleaned the atrium. There's a before and after picture that is like jarring to me because the atrium was just getting filled up and I love this space. The atrium was getting filled up with um, construction materials, wood that was, was took down, just a lot of garbage. And we, we don't have a dumpster or anything like that to take care of the garbage. So we have the dump trailer and we were just loading the dump trailer while we could, but it's winter time here. And uh, we haven't been able to bring the dump trailer in and have a place to park. What my father-in-law did was basically take everything from the atrium, move the garbage off to the side in the barn because the garbage needs to go. But then everything else, like the extra trays and pots and everything like that, he found a home for everything in the barn. That way, the atrium, the space where I'm gonna be working, this is pretty open. Obviously, we only wanna move that once. So that's gonna go when the dump trailer's here. We're gonna go right in, probably use uh, an appliance cart or something like that to move all that concrete. It's very heavy. But now it's a workable space. It's a usable space. This table is gonna stay for now, but all of this concrete piping and all that stuff too, this is gonna go and it's gonna be transformed into a little bit more of a user-friendly space. So eventually this will be a table still, a working area, but it will be a different surface. All in good time, guys. There's also crazy amounts of draft coming in through that wall. I can actually see the outside in some spots. So once we take that wall down, not wall, but that table down, I'm gonna have to patch it all up with that orange stuff that we used in the other room and seal it up tight because I'm. it feels like there's air conditioning blasting on me right now. Thank you again to my team, you guys are awesome. I have, I'm sitting on like four or five videos, guys, I'm editing to bring to you, but I'll give you a tiny, tiny sneak peek of what you guys will see in a video coming up. Here's just a tiny sneak peek. It's gonna be like a half second. Ready? Okay. <laughs> My first large order from Jolly Farmer came and um, we're in the process of potting everything up, getting the hanging baskets ready, getting using the pot filler. I'm becoming a pretty, pretty professional pot filler user. It is such an insanely busy time right now. I'm trying my best to get up early and get the editing done so that I can share these with you guys so I don't build up <laughs> all this back work for me. I have a video of unboxing all of my retail stuff. I have unboxing of my huge Jolly Farmer delivery. For a video of us potting stuff up, also planting at the hoop house. And I have a video of all the seeds I started for the farm so far. I'm hoping to get all of those out to you guys within the next week. I've set some time aside for editing and I know everyone says, let's just hire an editor. I am strapped. I have zero dollars. I am negative. So I can't hire this stuff out. Um, and plus I want my videos to be my voice. I don't want it to be anybody else's. And um, it's important to me to edit my own material. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some more potting up done and maybe a little bit more editing so I can get all that stuff out to you guys. Very exciting things. I am so happy. And I think I'll go into this in another video, but I think my anxiety is lowering now that the plants are here because I can actually do now and, and monitor and watch and be in control of what is happening in the plant environment because that's my fear is that things are going to die and there's going to be disease and there's going to be bugs. Um, so now that it's here, I feel less anxiety about it. And I think that's a good thing. It's plant therapy. It actually is plant therapy. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. My family is amazing. Love you guys. Bye. And a shout out to my mother-in-law who basically potted up most of the perennials. They're um, everywhere. <laughs> They're coming up so good. This is very exciting. Flocks, this is flocks. Actually do, put it up over your face. See if you can do it. There you go. <laughs> I can't see, I can't see. <laughs>
every once in a while it would die down and why don't you find something like that? Oh my They're god. My, my coat hooks. Amazing. <laughs> I had to have them. Yeah. So we, Walter just put them up this morning.